Yo, okay, so this is a question for the chat. Oh, should I move the kick? I've been seeing people uh, getting big deals out there. I'm not saying I'm going to get a big deal. I don't think I would get a deal on kick. I'm not that big. But is it the new, like, platform to hop on? Like, is it, like, the numbers I feel like for all streaming platforms are kind of, I'm not going to say fabricated, but, like, they're boosted a little bit, I'd, I'd think. And, of course, they've got, like, big streamers. Like, Bruce got, like, 80 million or something for like three years or however long it is but that's like an nba contract bro 80 million dollars what do you even do at that point maybe that's why he's just been going off i love it too like whenever people are like super just they don't give a fuck one fuck there's going to everybody like who they were kind of i don't know like just circumventing issues with before not necessarily because of like they're scared of them but like with twitch being so sensitive if he like starts bullying someone like they're gonna kick him off he already got banned a couple times for just doing not really all too much but yeah twitch twitch is going downhill i think twitch is gone in the next like they they already lose money but i've even seen can can thinking about going to twitch and like other people and i'm like oh maybe it's the move I do, I do like YouTube though, because I don't really do this for the money anymore since I have a good job outside of this. So YouTube just has more reach, especially because I can keep the streams up unless we play music. But uh, like it just, there's already like a billion monthly active users, maybe even more on YouTube. So even if I get paid the $16 an hour on kick, like that, that's, I mean, for like a small streamer, that's dope, but like that. I wouldn't be doing it for that. But Twitch is saying like, you need to, if you leave our platform, we're gonna charge you 20, $25, like what? Or, and you can't even multi-stream. Not that I really do that anyway, but here. Uh, Aiden Ross said something about it, cause Can Can tweeted, Can Can's really killing it business-wise. He got the rap clout, and now he's moving it into a brand. Then he's moving it into being a streamer and there's an all around like you know just brand overall um as in like his persona like he's killing it like I, I wouldn't even be surprised if he ever dropped music again i know him and summer said they're gonna work on something but let's see what he said exactly um kick.com slash not can can once can gets a deal from kick he's never making music again yeah i mean if he gets like an 80 million dollar how, mu how much do y'all think can can would get i think because for like a, what kick to me sounds like, it's almost like record labels in that say like Trippy, Trippy got whatever, he got 30 million, okay? I don't know the ins and outs of that, whatever is the music budget, I mean the recording budget, the marketing budget, what he gets as the advance, but kick, like if you're already a rapper and you have the clout, like you can drop music, right? You can get the deal from that, but then you can get another deal for streaming exclusively on there, I feel like I feel like Can Can could get in like the hundreds of thousands, maybe maybe M's. I don't know. Mosey World says five million, and Can Can would not get. Bro, Can Can's actually like, even though he's not dropping music, like people people listen to what he says. Like we post him, I I think he's one of the more. I don't know, like like entertaining with his moves type rapper like whereas other rappers are kind of like just dropping music and, and of course that's what we're here for because they are artists but he's doing more than that and I, I don't know i just like the business moves I'm a, I'm a business guy i like seeing people making bread if they're if they're smart with it you know and obviously he got the deal he got one distro deal or however many, I don't, he probably got more than that but i mean for like the last project he got i know he had the hundreds of thousands of dollars for that deal and then he has his masters and then now he's just he got the promo from the marketing budget or whatever he got uh from that deal and then he boosted his clout even more and then now he's going to potentially going to kick i'm saying man he could he could if he does his is uh his his moves right he could he could get a mail why not i mean he's not like a big streamer yet i just don't know what he would do because if he's not really into making music really anymore 
streaming is not as passive as people think. Like you gotta be on stream talking. Like you can't just play GTA and like not do anything or just react. I mean, you can react to videos, but like you kind of have to do more than that and be active and or else it'll get boring and people will leave. And like the thing is he's got to convince kick that a lot of people will come and then stay. Cause that's, that's why they're signing people so that more people come to kick and then look at the other streamers too. Like just so it turns into a whole ecosystem, just like Twitch. So, but of course I think that, yeah, for sure. Twitch is dying. Fuck Twitch. I've been seeing that. That's why I moved to YouTube. Like, a year ago, I was like, they are not doing it right at all. Unless you're a big streamer and they're like trying to kick off all the big people. So I don't, I don't see what their whole plan is. It's almost like they're trying to go out of business. Literally, like they're, they're doing literally every single wrong move. You would think the CEO would be like, we need to sign all these big creators. We need to be nice to them so that, cause they are, the creators are the source of all the people that are on their platform. They're generating all the revenue for them, and yet they're just treating them terribly, like not giving them good percentages, not giving them exclusive deals, not partnering certain people. They just want they want everybody to leave. It's crazy. And like your rage is probably going to kick or rump. I, I, I assume he's going to kick. I assume Kai at some point, I don't know, maybe Twitch has given him a deal behind the scenes, but I don't see why he wouldn't go to kick. I feel like everybody's going to kick. How much would Jace go to kick he could still get a deal too i think jace could do get a get a deal because he is entertaining like even with all of the nonsense and just like irrational and emotional behavior by him like he he still has a following like but take out every single thing that you don't like about a person because and again i don't even not like i i don't hate anyone it, the social media is stupid like like people it's not that serious. I never get butt hurt over anything like that anymore, at least. At the beginning, of course, I did. But Chase obviously has a large following. Then people want to see him stream. He can get a deal, too. I think since Can Can is bigger than him, though, he would get a bigger deal than Jace. So Jace, if Can Can is going for like the hundreds of thousands, I think Jace could go in the lower hundreds of thousands. Maybe I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if he's big enough to get a deal like that, though. Or if he's going to, again, like stream enough to really get a deal. And the same thing applies to Can Can. I don't know if he's going to stream enough, especially because when you're like, I wouldn't call Can Can necessarily rare, but like he is kind of elusive. Like he quit making music. So they're only going to give you a deal if you are, you have to like log in a certain amount of hours every single month. Cause it's essentially like you're promoting their platform by having kick like the, the logo on the bottom or like pe people know you're on kick. So if he doesn't do those hours, which I feel like since he's not making music, like he's not going to stick with streaming all too often. You know what I'm saying? I like can can though. This is no diss at all. I'm just like analyzing it from a business perspective. Do a hot tub stream. I'm definitely gonna do a, a vlog of the new place when it's all set up. I mean, look at this view though. Look at this view. I don't know if my wires are long enough. Hold up, let me see. My view. There's a, the water is like right there. There's a bridge. I'll, I'll do a vlog though. I just don't want people to uh, dox me because then people figure out which building I'm in by like my location and like the buildings around and the, I don't know, the look of the apartment or the condo. But yeah, we move, watch the clip. The Aiden, yeah. Oh, we gotta, we gotta watch the clip. I'm telling you that he said, Aiden said a couple, a couple, uh, hot takes. All right. So this is his reaction to can, can he, he really was hell bent uh, on the, uh, the lean. It's so odd to me that Aiden got addicted to lean. I guess because he's a streamer and he can't afford it. Like he's, he's making more money than a lot of rappers. Most of them he's making mil. He bought out a whole like condo somewhere. I don't know where it was, but like a, not a condo, sorry, a whole floor penthouse of all like and, and put his shit. I'd be his editor. I'd quit. My, I, I, I wouldn't quit, but I would, I would definitely work for him. Shit. Yeah, your salary might be 50K, but he paid for a whole condo for you. Easy. 
And he owns part of Kick too. Yeah. No, Aiden is say what you want about Aiden, because I know a lot of people like don't like his tweets and he's gotten like the whole gender argument. Um which which is a little, you know, iffy, especially right now with what's going on. But like business wise, he's killing it with bread. And uh Wally, we'll get to your question in a second. The ground root up and comer can can a kick deal. Just look at the track. Cause he okay, so if Aiden owns it, he does have power to give people deals. This week up. Damn. Can can. Let me can, hear can. some music real quick. Is he fire? Can can. What's his song? What's his best song? GTA? I would say listen to Wake Up, but who you know, whatever. Don't tell me you sip lean. Can can don't tell me you're sipping lean, bro. Come on, don't do that, bro. Aiden's like, Ugh. I need that. I need it. I need it. I mean, again, I don't know if Aiden, if he doesn't know who Can Can is, then he doesn't really know about his his level of clout or influence. So I don't know if he'll give him the deal, but I think that'd be cool. Like if you got T Grizzly, like people who are actually killing it on in a stream game, like GTA and just just streaming in general. Um, it would get more people who potentially didn't really watch streams beforehand. And now it's like a new audience. Cause, cause like if you get Bruce and you have Aiden and you get your rage, potentially, I don't know if that's confirmed yet. Then you already have like a, a whole sector of streaming. I know some people are going to rumble. I don't really like rumble that much. I don't think they have that many viewers. I think that they kind of, I don't know if they bought it, but like. I think they're boosting their numbers a little bit and it has a, has a weird, has a weird, you know, like it's a more conservative app, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I'm not getting into politics, but I don't know. I just don't like the stigma. If I were to move, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want that. It's probably pussy of me, but whatever. But if you got can can, I think that'd be a good one for sure.